Buongiorno from Ridley de Valto, which is part of Chiani, but it's a little tiny village. Just a two minute drive, if you like, outside of Chiani, a little bit further up the hills. And I'm here having breakfast on a Saturday morning and all is well in the world. I am La Ripadoro and the Sin Rivalto and it's a lovely restaurant that I'd been to years ago in another setting but they've moved into this beautiful new setting that's the little walkway we came along and then out of the village and then we came under a wonderful tunnel and it brought us up to this magnificent building with the most extraordinary gardens and I'm sitting having breakfast with some lovely new friends from England and they invited me up here to have a look because they're staying up here and I had no idea how beautiful this new restaurant and gardens were <laughs> and as you can see it's just gorgeous and we're having a beautiful buffet breakfast with everything you could possibly want for just eight euro per person which is great value as many cappuccinos as you want and the autumn leaves have just started to fall off the trees a little bit early this year because of the dryness and we're we're having a shower of leaves and it's just gorgeous this is the beautiful room inside with these gorgeous arched windows stained glass and they put out the lovely buffet breakfast here. The windows go outside, that lovely terrace area where we're sitting, lots of goodies. They also make beautiful eggs. I had scrambled eggs, which I love scrambled eggs, Italian style. They really have a way of doing it. Look at these gorgeous little tables and this lovely little balcony looking out to the hills beyond. And then these are some of the dining rooms which are not set up because that would be for evening dining but as you can see the styling is gorgeous got all their placemats ready and then another lovely area here as well that's not set up this morning but gorgeous gorgeous interiors everyone it's a beautiful bright Sunday morning um, I was up early because today I'm going for a big market day I know so many of you love coming with me to Vico Pisano markets so today I'm going to do a real market vlog for you um, and I'm going in the cutest car <laughs> my friends have a really cute mini from the UK so we're off in the mini me in the back seat and off to do a whole lot of market Mm, treasure seeking, yay, <laughs> can't wait. I look forward to sharing it with you. Buongiorno, I'm now in Vico Pisano and we are just arriving and it's the beginning of the markets and today I'm gonna to give you a really good look around at all the beautiful things you can find here. Buongiorno. So let's start bargain hunting. I'm just looking at these little Madonnas and things, they're 5 euros each. There's even a cute little, oh, it's cute little bear. And there's some. So seven and five, those ones. So I've made my first purchase for the day. That's always the hardest one, getting things going. Now I'll be going full blast. <laughs> 
five euros for that little Madonna because I love getting little things for the outside walls. So that'll either go upstairs or downstairs. Off I just put for it. Gosh, I really found something I really, really like to go in the cantina. Um, it's this really lovely tall candle stand. It's gorgeous. He wants 30 euros, which is really a good price, in fact. But I've come in a mini minor with my friends. I have no idea how I'd get it in the car. <laughs> I'm going to have to think about it. Mm, what a shame. Gosh, I love that painting as well. The heaps. That's gorgeous. I wonder how much he wants for that. I might ask him. Okay, it's a well-known artist from La Spezia, so um, it's 150 euros, which is more than what I would want to spend, but he does have all these exhibitions on the back and everything. The young man was just explaining it to me, so I'll have to think about that one. Mm. He actually has some lovely paintings and different pieces at this particular stand. I think I've seen these people before. They're actually really nice and they've got some good quality things. Lovely china as well. I also love that little hand-blown damigiana. It's got bubbles in it and it's 15 euros, which is a good price for a hand-blown one. Think about that. That would be nice in the cantina. as well oh gosh that kitchen piece back there so it's from a, a gold maker it's an old gold making bench it's just a little bit too big from what i was looking for for the kitchen otherwise it's such a good price it's like solid as a rock it's an antique it's beautiful it's 250 euros and i've been looking at things online even with ikea and stuff and you can't even get something in mdf hardly for that price so tempting and it will deliver but it's just a little bit bigger than what I was looking for and I'm really worried about buying things that are too big for the house again I have that um, melody <laughs> wanting to buy things and they end up getting to the house and they feel or look too big and I was really looking for something sort of at a meter long at the most and that's one meter 23 looks smaller but deceiving looks so deceiving Oh well, let's just keep on looking. Oh, lots of interesting bits here. There's some really nice coat hangers which I like. Or for the probably do need one for downstairs. It's got lots of pretty bits and pieces. Love all these little odds and ends. They can make really interesting decorations. That's cute little green bottles there as well. They look really old in the shape. Frames, uh, cartoons, old cartoons, cartoon books, biscotti, huge boxes. No, no, dice. Ero ieri col carabinieri che sono stato tutto il giorno. I'm really looking for a little frame today. This lady, I was just looking at this wonderful piece. It's a really old fashioned clothesline. It's 120 euros because it's a real collector's piece. So, and I've got absolutely nowhere to put it, but I thought I'd show you because it's just such a groovy piece. Never seen one like it before. See a bit of everything at the marketplace, don't you? Even people on horses with little red covers on their ears. How cute. <laughs> beautiful light fittings here these people actually restore light fittings I've seen them here every time I've been to the market and he also has always I should say has some beautifully restored light fittings but he will restore your lights for you from what I believe
such a pretty, pretty beauty that you love when someone starts to sing. <laughs> it's such a gorgeous place. I thought of a girlfriend when I saw this light fitting. She loves light fittings like that. Kel, I'm thinking of you at the moment. In Palazzo Menichelli, I could have just imagined that suiting so well. Interesting painting there as well. Hmm. Oh, look at the old tombola game. Isn't that gorgeous? Well, I lost my friends a while ago. <laughs> well, we're kind of on purpose. We're going to meet up. But I'm just walking down the other end now. I haven't done this section. And then we'll probably stop for a coffee or a cold drink, I think, and then do another half. <laughs> I love the old print of the Yin Tower. That was gorgeous. Oh. Oh, it's heating up now. I think I'm going to have to get the sun hat out. <laughs> I have got that squashable white one in my bag and I think it's just about time where I need to stick it on my head. <laughs> We're now headed down to the other end of the market and this is down where they are in behind the walls which I really like that area as well and I don't know why I seem to find bargains down there a lot of the time when I come so let's hope it's my lucky day again today for finding another bargain. That's a pretty painting. It's pretty with the old gramophones and bits and pieces. That's a lovely old school desk. Cute. It reminds me of my childhood. Awesome. Um, the pretty uh, florist shop in there. Um, we're coming up towards where the opera building is on the left. Some cafes and restaurants. It gets quiet and then it gets busy again up the other end here. All around the walls. But I think I'm going to go and sit in the shade and have a drink. Oh, thirsty work walking through hot markets. <laughs> there we go. Here we go, Mercatino del Collezionismo Sotto le Mura. Love this part when you go in here. Here we go. Oh, this is my favourite place to sit and have a drink in the cool as well. So, And then we'll continue down with the other stalls down underneath the trees and the walls. I wonder if I'll find... Ken and Sandra, someone here. Let's have a look. We have found the perfect table under the shade of these magnificent trees. Do you know, every time I've been to Buco Bizano, I have actually never found a table under the trees. They're always full. <laughs> it's amazing. I usually have to sit over under the shade there, which is fine, but oh, under the trees just feels like far more appropriate. I don't know. So I'm so glad I grabbed this. They've gone in to have a look to see what they want. We need a beverage, absolutely need a beverage. And I'm so happy to hear that they've already found a few bargains and they're really, really happy with their bargains. So that's exciting. I've got a couple of bargains, so we're all happy. Now, Sunday morning and the bells ringing at the church just outside. I don't know if you can even see those bills moving there. Possibly just above the tent. Isn't that gorgeous? Nothing better than being in a village, sitting in the shade, waiting for a drink and having the church bells toll. Couldn't be more perfect if it tried. I'm now in the section that is under Nemure, as they say, and I'm just showing you the beautiful walls. But that we're outside now of Nemure, of Vico Pisano in the shade part of the time which is lovely. Let's see what we find down here. Anything interesting? 
I often buy these lovely Florentine um, Grazie Signora. I'm just, I, I buy these beautiful little Florentine trays. I collect them. I've got a few at home now that I've bought from this lady and they're beautiful. And she always has such lovely trays. So I've just bought another one in a really pretty color, which I'll show you when I get home. It's gorgeous. So that same lady has some really pretty bits and pieces usually. Arrivederci. <laughs> so I'm happy I've got one more tray for my collection and that was seven euros. She's always got really good prices. I don't even try and bargain her down because I don't think she's ever, ever charged me more than that for anything. It's always been five or seven and they're beautiful. I don't want the place to be looking through markets. I just love it. What have we got here? Let's have a look. I bought some things off this young lady last time. She's got some really pretty Deruta pieces and lovely hand painted plates and things. Really pretty colours. I like those there, but I don't really have anywhere to put plates on the walls. Um, she's got more trays here but mine is far nicer than the other lady a bit more individual coloured pretty little things these are beautiful paintings as well I'm creating a shadow sorry some really pretty little framed paintings there that I really like they're 50 euros a piece which they're all signed originals so they are worth that for sure beautiful frames headed down to the next lot of doors so to speak I think it finishes there today which is plenty big enough for me <laughs> I haven't done everything yet and I've almost spent my little budget for the day so I have to be cautious now cute little boxes here just love the little boxes I'm really happy because I found this gorgeous old it's sort of 1960s she said but it's all beautifully made it's a bottle holder and I've been looking for one and I could only find things in plastic this was 20 euros I got it down for 25 and it's really really gorgeous I'm really really happy with that to put my wine bottles in I can't ever come to Vico Pisano without coming and visiting Mary Shelley. Last time I was here, you would have seen me with my friends in July, but it's just always such a lovely, peaceful spot. And look at that sky. And of course, Il Torre dell'Orologio, the great big clock tower, which is not shading us from that beating sun today, but Mary seems fine. Well, that was a long, hot market session, but I'm really happy. I'll just show you my little haul from today, which I'm really happy about. So first of all, you saw me looking at these little terracotta figurines. I'm hoping you can see that just fine. It's a Madonna and child, a little sort of holy water almost, um, little font, but it has, it's to hung, be hung up on a wall. And I've got so many lovely, nails out the front on the front of the house that used to have things hanging on them with the last owners obviously and I, I'm just trying to make a pretty collection like a lot of people do and that was really sweet and so I got that that was just five euro then a lot of you would understand by now that I collect those lovely Florentine trays which I just love but I like the shabby chic older ones better than the ones that look too new and sort of touristy looking and this one is from my favorite seller which you would have seen me film lovely lady that was seven euros it's just gorgeous really pretty colors on that one lovely lots of white which is unusual 
and I really liked it for that. It's just a lovely neutral one. And as you know, I do like my touch of gold, so that will come in handy. I use these for everything. I pop them on most tables. They're great for just popping your drinks on or for serving things. And I use one that's a little bit bigger than that upstairs, just as my little lap tray for having my dinner when I'm on my own. So they work out really well. Seven euros, they're normally anything between five and seven euros most of the time. Then there was a book seller that was selling some really cool little old books for 50 cents each. I picked up just three little books which I thought looked really sweet. I had to pick them up because I like the look of the cover and as you know as a writer <laughs> I do love books. Um, all the sort of stories sounded love lovely. This one's a more modern book. I still liked the cover but I also liked the sound of the story. La Regina di Roma the Queen of Rome. I thought, oh, that sounds like a really good classic sort of probably, you know, period type piece, but in Italian. So that will be great for me to have a nice read at night. So I'll get stuck into that one. And then the last piece, which is probably my favourite of today, I must admit, was I saw this piece sitting on the grass behind some stores and I went over to it. I thought, that looks like a lovely bottle holder. Now, a lot of these things, modern day, are sold just in hard plastic and people put their water bottles or whatever to carry them around or wine bottles. But it's very rare. In fact, I've never seen one like this before. And the lady said they are really hard to come across. It's not super old. It's probably about, uh, I think she said about 60 years old, which is old enough. My age, <laughs> my vintage. But it's lovely and it's in great condition. It's solid timber. It's heavy. I had it slung over my shoulder in a string bag. So it's a solid timber base, solid timber top, lovely weighty handles there, lovely rope finish throughout, nice big holes as well. So it fits fatter bottles as well as slimmer bottles. And I'm hoping just to find a spot actually here in the kitchen to put some wine bottles in or downstairs in the cantina. I'll play around and I'll let you know once I've sorted where I put it. But I wanted a bottle holder for quite a while. And when I saw that, the lady had 25 on it and I bargained her down to 20. I was more than happy with 20 euros for a lovely piece like that. So that was like the piece of the day as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> so that's my little haul for today. Didn't have a big budget to spend. Wasn't absolutely looking for anything in particular, except for a frame, which I couldn't find today. Um, so that's fine, nothing urgent. But I just thought if I find just some little thing, and when I found the Madonna at five euro, I would have been happily come home with that and thought, that's me for the day. But then obviously I saw my tray, then I saw my 50 cent books, and then I saw my bottle holder. <laughs> so there you go, but all up. A really successful day and what's that around the 30 euro mark not even no not even uh, oh no hang on five seven yes 30 euros more or less so um, great day out and lovely little haul I'm really pleased so I've been sorting out my few little bits and pieces that I bought actually let me turn the light on in here it's getting dark I was having a little glass of red wine there's my bottle holder can you see how gorgeous it is? And I've just got sitting in front of the fireplace at the moment, which actually I quite like. I don't mind, it's a little rustic kitchen. And I think that looks really quite sweet there. So it gives me like a little, little cantina up here in the room. And I just had my copper wire and little cutters out because I had to fix that little Madonna that I bought. I realized it didn't have any wire on it. So I've wired it up and it's now just by my front door. I moved the other longer one down there, my little Madonna by the door. So we've got our lovely little hand painted tile we bought last year in San Gimignano. The other one that was left with the house down there. So one, two, three, four, four now, but there's lots of hooks coming out of the wall one two three oh, and then all those nails up there that they must have trained something on at one stage i think a plant 
So anyway, in the meantime, there's lots of nails and hooks I could put things on if I wanted to. So we shall see. I'll just keep on collecting when I see a bit or a bob somewhere, so to speak. <laughs> and the plants are looking really well. They've come back so well after some rain and a little bit of cool weather. They really didn't like that extreme heat at all. Jasmine's doing really well again now. It's had a bit of a growth spurt. And the olive tree has gone nuts. Aren't you just the beautiful, most beautiful olive tree? Lots of little extra new leaves everywhere on the end of every single branch. Look at that. And we're in autumn almost, so really pleased with that. I don't know if I told you, my neighbour, I can't remember if I told you, my neighbour showed me her little bonsai olive tree, which is literally right next to that pink bow, if you can see that pink bow. It's got, she's had it 25 years, the bonsai, and it's got one quite large olive sitting on it. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? It actually fruits, I didn't realise. She said it doesn't do it every year, but every now and again she said it gives me one olive. <laughs> she won't be making olive oil anytime soon, but isn't that adorable? Anyway, back inside. I'm going to have a little glass of wine now, as I said. A little tiny glass, but I thought I'd shout myself a glass of wine. I'm a bit tired today. It was a big day at the market in the heat. So upstairs, and I'm going to watch some other vloggers instead of making one. I'll start making one tomorrow when I'm feeling more up to it. Cheers. Look what just happened. I didn't film the delivery because I don't like to film people for their privacy, but oh, I just got the little kitchen island of my dreams. I saw it on the weekend last Sunday at the Copisano markets when I was with my friends and I thought, oh my gosh, that looks like it would fit perfectly in our kitchen. But how do I get it home? Because they brought me in a mini minor. <laughs> And I said to the man, oh gosh, I'm in love with that. And I think it's the right size, but I would have to get home and measure. And he said, well, if no one else wants it, um, give me a call, which I did. I got straight home. I put black tape on the floor to make sure it would fit properly, which as you can see, it fits perfectly. And I'm going to get a couple of little stools to pop underneath that so we can still sit there if we want to. But I needed more workspace in here desperately and the table just wasn't doing it. But the table's fine. It's a beautiful table and it'll go down in our cantina project probably. I've actually got it upstairs as dining for the moment and that's working as well. So I'll just, this, just so I can explain. Sorry, I'm so excited. <laughs> you can probably tell by my voice. So this has a story to it, which is another thing that I love. Oh, it just suits the kitchen so much, don't you think? I've just popped a couple of little things on top of it, but I'll soon sort myself out, obviously. So this is from an orificio, which is a goldsmith, someone that works with gold, jewellery, etc. So it's a bit knocked about, a bit shabby chic, which is what I love anyway. But it's the most beautiful timber and it's very smooth on top and it has, you can tell, been sealed. I would say it feels like wax to me, the touch of wax. So I will continue to wax this table. I've got some lovely beeswax. Um, might give it a slight little slight sand perhaps and before I do that, um, do it properly. But it's gorgeous. It's exactly the right size. It's the right height. I wanted something where I could, not just with that part there, but be sort of ergonomically close to my stove, close to my pots and pans. Um, just that central thing and something welcoming as well when you walk in the door. Now, because it was a goldsmith's table, I actually like, let me push that plant to one side so you can see, that indentation where I imagine they stand to work and then have the curves either side of them like that, which is awesome. It has two beautiful sized drawers. So that's going to be, it must have had beautiful old keys at one stage. That's going to have lots of space for more kitchen um, 
you know, more of my utensils and things, which I've never known really where to put them. They're in a couple of the drawers. But here, if I'm chopping and doing things, plus I have a lovely marble slab downstairs in the cantina, which I was thinking of using if I make pastas. That will fit on the top of this as well. I can pop that there if I want to. My cute little bottle holder that I got on the weekend as well, if you remember, that will go in there. I mean, that goes perfectly underneath. I wanted a little spot where it was sort of out of the way where I wasn't kicking into it and I think it looks just perfect there oh, I'm just so happy so even the chairs could sort of sit up to it but they'd be a bit low but that's okay we've got other spots for the chairs things that we per purchased earlier on to finish off the house initially were done fairly quickly just to give us furnishings and they're beautiful quality so they're never going to go astray in the house and especially now that we have another project on the go so don't you think the kitchen's coming along now that just suits this spot incredibly well it's the perfect size honestly just so you know I purchased this including delivery and the man comes from all the way up near Florence so not a short drive he didn't give me a discount on the object which was fine by me because he said I'll deliver it to you which is huge obviously and he charged me 250 euros for the item that was the price at the market including delivery to my door and he's over an hour away from me so I am over the moon because for an item like this with history oh I can see a nail sticking out that I might have to pull out because someone might hurt themselves on that mm. um with a piece of history like this, something that's unique and gorgeous and perfect and in solid timber, obviously I've looked online, I've scoured the net, I've looked at millions of things it feels like over the last couple of years and honestly they're either way too much of out, of out of our budget, I've seen things that have been thousands of euros or high hundreds of euros, um, in comparison, let me say, this piece, which everyone loves and I love and I don't regret it, but that was from Maison du Monde and it is lovely, but it's new. It's from Recycled Timber. Um, the drawers often go off their tracks, I must admit, and that was over a thousand euros. That was the dearest thing we bought in this entire house, which it will be fine. It's beautiful and I love it, but just to prove that the older things often <laughs> are better, and it's really hard to get something in that price range. So this is just fantastic for the price. And now I'm rambling, aren't I? <laughs> I know I'm rambling because when I get excited, I ramble. Sorry, folks. <laughs> Anyways, there we go. I now have a kitchen island that I can work on, that I can play on, that I can stand around, that I can have coffee on. Um, I'm just thrilled. I'm just thrilled. Thank you, Ricardo, from the markets. You are a lovely man. So is your son for bringing it with you. And I thank you so much.